Mountain Creek Park is in the northeast precinct of the sheriff's office. We've got three precincts. The northeast precinct handles all calls for service here at Token Creek Park. It's headed by a captain, and that's Rochelle Anholt, who joined me. And uh, she's in charge of that division. Each one of our eight hour shifts is uh, run by a uh, sergeant or a lieutenant. And so, also joining me is Sergeant Tim Elvey, who uh, is the sergeant on the shift. shift. And just make sure that people are safe. Because our number one priority, our number one role in county government is is uh, safety and security. We don't schedule buses. We don't arrange porta potties. We don't arrange showers. We're in char we're charged. That's with one of the reasons safety. I'm here tonight is to address the needs. And then I serve as a spokesperson to other departments within county government, specifically the groups that that uh, would address those needs that you have are going to be parks, first and foremost. They're the ones charged with making sure you get the porta potties that you need. My understanding is four were delivered today. Is that accurate? I know that Something buses like are that. being arranged. I was told by Lynn Green that they had hoped to have a bus right. coming from Madison out here that didn't occur tonight. They're hoping to have Tomorrow morning, a bus going in and buses coming back out at the end of the day. Darren uh, from Parks and, of course, coordinate with the county executive's office when needs are not met to uh, to make sure that we get you what you need to ensure your safety and security first and foremost. <laughs> okay, so when you say excessive use of force, Well, what? presence of force, let's put it that way. Was that based on the number or was right. it on behavior? The, I believe it was <clears throat> both. Intimidation. They, the first contact, matter, matter of fact, by the sheriff's office was on Thursday. Thursday before Thanksgiving. There were no deputies on site. You know, as it relates to Tuesday morning, um, we didn't know what to expect. And so we were there assisting the parks and human nice. services. Our county board supervisor knows and is well aware, uh, we're very respectful of people's rights and the dignity of items. human beings. We were there to make sure that what you, what they packed up, or Parks was responsible, to make sure that what they packed up was what got now, returned to you. Some people could say that there's a fine line. The fine line is determined by the behavior of the individuals even here today, doing the I've had nobody from Parks, I've had nobody from our staff come forward and say um, there was contraband and we want to move forward to do something, because that was not our concern. Um, when there were such concerns about how the property was being handled here, um, when it was brought to Token Creek Park, um, I'm not sure if you're aware of this, but actually the Sheriff's Office, we helped facilitate getting that so that it got back to you the way that it ultimately got back to you instead of continuing um, with the image. I was curious if people were given an option. It, was it like you take your stuff here or drag it to the curb or we'll take your stuff to some other location or was it just a one-way offer for one? Like this is the only My understanding we'll is Parks said they were taking all the property to Token Creek where well, Occupy in. One is there... Occupy One occurred two years ago and it was Dane County Deputy Sheriffs who were on the front lines if you recall uh, around the capital. Do you think it could have been handled better instead of using yeah. all that force uh, all well, the deputies and that putting this us to pack our own stuff? Well and here, here was the difference in talking to the Madison police they gave a date time that had to be upheld and it was upheld and the Parks Department felt that that wasn't occurring this time. I don't want to speak for them, but that they had made notifications. They had uh, requested people to leave and they didn't. And so there was this perception already that there was this force up against the park. And that partly is what led to a larger number of deputy sheriffs being used come in and stand by. But the I, effective message in it is that I'm disappointed that the county chose not to take advantage of the opportunity for discussion and conversation, which was the reason for going to the Hill, because people wanted to work out the 
the issues and it's like well if we're parked on your front lawn it'll be really easy for us to meet because we have tried to reach out to joe parisi countless times i mean i don't know what bunker he's living in right now he refuses to talk he refuses to talk he wouldn't return anybody out the neighborhood wanted us there and was actually helping us and supporting us and the other half of the neighborhood was trying to undermine that's us. The community has divided now. Basically. Wow. Big time people would divided. have reacted differently at the beginning and communicated with the group, communicated with the neighborhood. They could have dispelled a whole lot of that. Yes. So the, the county decided to make these bad people and let the neighbors do what the neighbors did. It was a theft of a hammer drill but it was actually this group that, that helped us solve that. The person right. who made who made the theft wasn't a member Related of Related to your job, camp. but since you may have the voice of other people who are bunkered down. Um, okay, thanks, Brad. We have been a group of advocates and people and people in this group have been looking for a sustainable solution outside of this, outside of a tent city. Uh, we met with uh, Captain Glady for coffee and various other meetings. And I think that that's what really lacked in this and put you guys in a bad position because that, that the elected officials were not opening up their doors, not listening, not even knowing that we have been looking for Deal a sustainable with solution. Difficult situations, which is what makes them the best law enforcement officers that we have in Dane County. And I'm, I'm very proud to, uh, to lead this agency that's made up of really the very best men and women in law enforcement.